In the unlikely event that you are caught up in a weapons attack, you need to think about what you're going to do. In these times, it may not always be possible to think clearly. So here is some general security advice. But please remember, this short film can never cover every possible situation. And in the words of a senior police officer, if someone acts on instinct and perhaps decides to fight because they have no choice, then of course we'd never criticise them for that. This general advice is in line with the police's advice to run, hide and tell. Please watch other videos in the series. Run. The best course of action if it's possible is to run and evacuate when you hear gunshots and see weapons. Consider two things. One. Consider a possible safe route that doesn't place you in the line of fire. And two, consider if it's safer to wait for the attacker to move away before you continue. If it is, then run and try to take others with you. Don't take belongings with you, like a bag or a book or anything which will slow you down. If you have evacuated, stop others from going into the building. Hide. It might not be possible to run, so hide. A good hiding place has no dead ends or bottlenecks, has exit and escape routes and reinforced walls. Try not to hide behind curtains or wooden doors. If you can try to lock yourself in a room, barricade yourself in and move away from the door. Remember when you're hiding, be as quiet as possible, switch your mobile phone to silent, not vibrate, and don't shout for help or do anything that will give away your hiding location. Tell. Once you have evacuated the location or you're in a safe hiding place and without alerting the attacker to where you are and it's safe to do so, call the police by dialing 999. Tell the police who you are, where you are and whether you or others around you need treatment. Tell the police what has happened and where, including report of any casualties. And tell the police the description of the attacker, where they are, what they are doing, what weapons they have, if you know these details. When the police arrive, their first task will be to deal with the immediate threat to prevent further casualties. If armed police arrive first, they may not be able to distinguish you from the attacker, so they may treat you firmly. Follow their instructions. Try to stay calm. Keep your hands visible at all times so they can see that you are unarmed. Don't make any sudden movements that may be seen as a threat. And don't shout or wave. If you haven't been evacuated, you will be. Only once it is safe to do so.